Colombia is one of the top 10 most vulnerable countries in the world uh, due to climate change. So therefore we need to protect the forest, otherwise we will have many social and environmental and economic conflicts in the years to come. The Amazon rainforest is one of the main strategic ecosystems in the world and we are losing it. If we lose that forest, we are going to increase as a country our vulnerability uh, before climate change. In order to make our business sustainable, we decided to start small. We don't look at big figures, 500 families, 100,000 hectares. No, we started with small. The first step was to restore these 30 hectares where we are sitting here. We believe that if we want to be sustainable, or we need to be, to be financed through the market, not through investors. Investors will come afterwards once they realize that we are an enterprise. We are developing here at the Forest School uh, five so-called nature-based solutions. The first one, we have the sanctuary of native bees. We believe that by protecting the bees, we can protect the forest. But of course, that has to be economically viable. The second one, we have a mega nursery where we collect seeds from native trees. It is very important to have very fixed objectives, uh, goals, uh, to have the right people around you. It is the most important thing. If you have a great team, uh, you can achieve everything. For me, it was very important to learn that I was not able to do everything. If I wanted to restore 100 hectares, for instance, I had to do it with, the, with others. Where we um, plant the trees, of course, and we connect with enterprises so that they can offset their carbon emissions by planting the trees of the community. The third one is uh, nature tourism. We have an offer uh, to, in order to receive visitors so that they can get connected with the territory. We don't expect to have the, the perfect project. We are learning, learning by doing. We are um, improving day by day. The fourth one is our forest school as such, so that we can increase knowledge for visitors and local communities about restoration and conservation of the forest. <laughs> and the fifth one, we are developing with one business association here, a business model so that we can produce uh, native food and put it on the on the dish so that the visitors can enjoy what's uh, what is being produced here in the territory. If we just restore these 30 hectares, we are doing nothing because 30 hectares is very small in comparison with the challenge that we are having. So we are losing almost 200,000 hectares every year. So the only way to restore and to conserve the rainforest is to share the knowledge, to replicate these learnings, to replicate all these nature-based solutions that we are developing here. So that's the only way in order to protect the whole region and not only a single project like this. <laughs>